Destination for today is Mount Pier National Park. We are planning to drive up to Lake Dawson. Let's see how our day goes and we will keep you updated. We started our journey from Hobart. Lake Dobson is located about 90 kilometers away from Hobart and 15 kilometers from Mount Field National Park Visitor Center. The drive from Hobart to Lake Dobson is very beautiful. Sometimes this scenic drive goes by the side of River Derwent, through foot orchards and historic small towns. Now we are going through New Norfolk, which is a local town on the way to Mount Field. This is the third oldest settlement in Tasmania. This was founded by evacuees relocated from Norfolk Island in 1807. This town is home for many historic buildings. One of them is St. Matthew's Church, which is Australia's oldest Anglican church. After the visitor's centre, we begin the fun part of the drive up to Lake Dobson. The road is unsealed, winding and narrow. At the beginning, the road runs under giant tall trees touching the sky. As we go up the road, the vegetation starts to change. As you can see, the trees are fairly short compared to the tall trees. This is probably because of the high winds at higher elevations. arrived at the Lake Dobson picnic area and a couple of beautiful birds welcomed us. These yellow-throated honey eaters were singing and dancing to their own music. Lake Dobson is about 1,033 meters above the sea level. The walk around the lake takes only about 40 minutes. This is more like a mini version of the Dove Lake walk at Cradle Mountain. There are also quite a few tarns and lakes around this area, so there are a number of hikes that you can take.
Now we have arrived at Eagle Town. This is a small lake that we can easily reach when we do the walk around Lake Dobson. This is a must see attraction in winter as this will be a frozen lake. In winter, the road up to Lake Dobson is usually covered with ice. Sometimes due to heavy snowfall, the road is closed as well. So if you are coming in winter, it's best to check with the visitor center about the road conditions and you may also need to go on a four-wheel driver. Hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when a new video is released. Also, please like, comment and share with your friends. Bye for now. See you again in another video.